That's funny. It's already recording. Oh well. Welcome. So what I'm going to look at this time is we've got our scene here again with some lupins and our little birds flying in the background. And I've just put the, a bit of a background environment in it. But what we're going to look at this time is the references and the concept of the default prim. So these birds, if we come down and have a look at the payload section, it's got a reference off to our other file and it's got underneath the prim path, which it says default prim. And what we're going to do is look at the concept of default prims and how to change it. So if we come down into the bird and we're going to open it up, the first thing you might notice is uh, what I've done is I've, um, I've added a, an environment. Now on the environments tab down here, you've got a number of environments. You can just drag them up uh, into it to create a bit of environment, but we didn't see that environment in our main project. And that's because environment is alongside. It's a sibling of world. It's not a child of world. World is the one that's been marked as a default prim. So when you reference this uh, file, it's only going to pull in the world and its children, nothing else. So it means you can throw in lights, you can throw in reference material, anything you want alongside uh, world. And as long as it's not underneath it, when you reference this file, it won't get included by anybody else. What we're going to do then is we're going to um, create another XForm node. I'm going to drag it down the bottom here and I'm going to give, call it world two. Underneath this, I'm going to create a cube. And there we have our little cube. Now I'm going to come down here. I've got the um, the locked scale on. I'm going to scale it up a bit. And what the idea is, I want the cube to be roughly the same size as the bird. And so if I wanted to, I was having performance problems, I could say, okay, I'm just going to use a cube instead of the bird for a bit. So if I save that file and I come back to my previous project file, the cube wasn't underneath world. And so it hasn't been included. But if I come in and I pick one of the birds um, and I come down and in, in default prim, I type in world two. So now I've typed in a prim path for the payload and I hit enter. You'll notice that the bird has now been replaced by my cube. And so you can actually specify what to pull out of the file. That can be a bit of a pain though, having to remember all those different paths. And so the other way of doing it where you don't have to change everybody referencing you is to leave that um, as default prim down here. And we come back to the other file again. If I come to world two and I right click and set that as the default and save that and come back to the project, you'll notice that all the birds have changed because I've just said Whatever the default is in that file, I want it. And we've changed the default to be the cube. And so what it's meant now that all the birds got replaced by cubes, which would be more efficient than using that high quality model. Or if you haven't created a full quality model yet, you can put a cube or some simple thing in its place and then later on swap it over to the real thing. And all you've got to do is change default prim and you can still flip back to the old one if you need to. So we're going to look at just one other thing. What we're going to do is edit this file and have a look at the references down to the birds. And what you'll notice is there's now this delete payload section. So we've got our payload, which is a reference off to the hummingbird, but because I've been messing around with it and changing it a few times, first we've got this special syntax the ats go around a reference to a file. The angle brackets specify the prim path. So this is actually the syntax for specifying, I want this prim path out of this file. Now, just due to um, having different sub layers and, and, and so forth, it sort of said, well, you've been changing things around a little bit. I'm not sure you still wanted that one. We've got a prepend there, so I'm gonna clear out the old things. Um, and so I'm just going to clean up and get rid of them because I don't need them. 
uh, I've just got to prepend to the payload file that I want to load up. The other deletes were just to get rid of anything that just happened to be loaded up from a, another layer and so forth. It, I don't have it in this case. I've got it very clean and so I'm just cleaning up my file. So come back, um, finish editing to clean up that temporary file and let's go back and just clean up. So what I'm going to do is go back to my hummingbird. Yeah, save it all. I'm going to get rid of the cube because I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to make world two back to my default prim. Now uh, my um, video card just ran out of memory. That's why the birds just disappeared at the moment. It is actually around. It's actually one of the negatives of using a complex environment for the background. So I'll see if I can free up a bit of memory just by doing a very simple um, clouds instead of the whole building. And there my bird comes back. Yeah, One of the joys of having not quite enough memory in your machine. Back to our main project, just to be doubly sure that we've got our birds back. Yep, there they are. Exercise for you. What would happen if I went back to the bird file and changed the root prim type to scope? While I'm doing it, you might just have to think about it. what do you expect to have happen? Poor little machines having a bit of a hernia. Probably shouldn't have closed that file before, should I? But anyway, so I'm going to come down to world and it's an X form at the moment. And you can see here's the default prim of saying world, by the way. I'm going to say a scope. And have you predicted what's going to happen yet? And where are my birds gone? Is that what you expected? Well, actually the birds are still here. It's just if I zoom out a bit, it's Mega Godzilla bird. And so what if I come and do then is if I try and use the move tool, it's no longer available as an option. I can't rotate, I can't move, and it's because these operations require an X form prim. So by changing it to a scope, I can't position it, I can't scale it, I can't move it. So the ramification of that is, is pretty well whenever you've got to have a file with a model in it, you want the root node to be an X-form node. That's all I wanted to show you today, and I'll see you next time.